Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now joining me is Cam Forms with Beckton Red Angus. I will say that you do have a very tough act to follow, but thank you for being on this morning. It looked like it looked like it is a very tough act to follow. So, well, you know, let's get right into it. Beckton Red Angus is is a local operation right here in Sheridan, Wyoming. So why don't you tell us a little bit about about Beckton Red Angus? Okay, Beckton Red Angus was actually started by my father and mother back in the 1940s. Uh, my the generation before them, my grandfather had gotten the, our original ranch here near the Bighorn Mountains back in 1898, and they had raised sheep and Hereford cattle for many years. And then my father really had the idea of trying to, well, creating a new breed using the Red Angus genetic strain that was a natural, uh, occasional offshoot from the Aberdeen Angus. And in 19, in the early 1940s, he brought that into action by going around and collecting some of the uh, just finding really good red calves out of black Angus herds that, that at that time because the Angus was not registering red calves they were they were hamburger they were culls and and he found uh, black breeders who were very helpful to him and if they had a really good red calf out behind the barn that they could not register in the Aberdeen Angus Association they would sometimes tell him about him he would come look and so he got a nucleus herd of um, of red Angus uh, from from these black herds and started it and in about 1945 and as he did this for a few years by the early 1950s several other breeders around the United States began seeing what he was doing and thought it was a good idea and started doing similar the similar kind of program and then uh, in 1954 he and six others got together and formed the Red Angus Association of America and, uh, and that is how it, it started. He, the one idea that he had that was very radical in the 1940s and 50s was he saw the future of performance testing. That was not you, that was really not, uh, it was sometimes preached in academic, by academic researchers who said, hey, you should be doing this, but nobody actually was. Uh, the, the commercial industry, the registered industry was very heavily show focused back in, uh, that time, and um, uh, but he had the idea of performance testing, and that's how the Red Angus breed was founded, and that was its principle from the very beginning. What a pioneer in the industry, you know, and, and such history here. One of the one of the oldest ranches here in Sheridan, Wyoming. You know, they're wrapping us up, but before we get out, you do have you do have a production sale coming up. So why don't you tell us a little about your production sale and where they can find more information on Beckton? Yeah, well, we have a website, BectonRedAngus.com, and you're welcome to uh, you can to contact us anytime. We have a production sale in April here at the ranch in Sheridan, where we sell about 250 bulls, yearling bulls, uh, and it's always very successful, very well attended. We're one of the last ranches that run it through the, through the actually bring through the ring, although it is on the video, it is on Superior. And uh, so that's when, that's really a really good opportunity to come to visit us and, and uh, look for bulls. There you go. Come to this great weather that we're getting to experience here. Well, Cam, thank you for being on this morning. As you, as you said, you can always go to superiorlivestock.com and see videos of those bulls prior to your sale. Well, we appreciate you being on. When we return, we'll close the show with world champion auctioneer Ralph Wade.